just in and ready to take home a trophy at your next classic car show is this absolutely stunning show quality 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop restored in a gorgeous red and white with a red and white uh, interior as well. This car is riding on a beautiful set of Kreger SS rims, has a fantastic stance, laser straight body, and just an absolutely beautiful look. We go underneath the hood, it's an absolutely show quality restoration. No expense spared on the engine department on this 1955 Chevy Bel Air. A radiator support, backside, front side, all painted gorgeous. Beautiful radiator. Completely chromed out engine, chrome brake booster, power brake, power steering, four wheel disc brakes on this 55 as well. It's got a polished uh, high rise intake. Looks like a Holly carburetor. Fenders are painted just as nice as the rest of the car. You just don't see that uh, quality restoration done on the engine compartment that often on this car. The bottom side of the hood is painted just as nice as the top side. Um, also, uh, engine, the 350 engine runs super strong, sounds good, it's got a lot of performance. As we go across the top of the hood, um, top of the hood lines up beautifully, nice gap from front to back. We have a tiny little paint chip right here. In my opinion, guys, this is an absolutely uh, show quality car um, from bumper to bumper. Uh, it's been restored probably three to 10 years ago. I'm not sure exactly on the date, um, how long it's been restored, but it hasn't had hardly any miles on it since the restoration. Uh, front bumper and bumper guards are awesome. The grill's all new. Headlight uh, rings are new. Marker lights, turn signals, all that stuff is all brand new. Chrome looks excellent on it. Uh, the splash pan up front is all nice as well. The fit and finish, just around this car, and you can tell in this video, it's gonna show up, but the fit and finish around how the front splash pieces all came in here. I mean, whoever did this restoration did a gorgeous job. So we're looking up and down the passenger side. It's laser straight on the top, laser straight on the bottom. Really nice car. Put gap over on the passenger side, looks real nice. This emblem here is not brand new. This kind of looks original. The chrome looks great on it, but if you look close, it's got just a few little bits on the top of it. Um, same thing with the bird. It's all been polished and looks really nice, but it uh, does have a few little bits. As far as our uh, top of the hood goes, um, we did buff this car lightly when it came in. It didn't need it. The paint body was gorgeous on it when it came in, but uh, it's even better now. So it's got a really nice finish there. Um, as far as the windshield goes, the windshield's crystal clear on the front, looks really good. But right around this is the Plinkerton uh, laminated glass, but right around this very corner here just has a little bit of, uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, oxidation right here in the corner. Uh, as far as our uh, roof goes, that's in excellent shape as well. Uh, perfect, there's no uh, dings, anything like that. It's in really good shape. Uh, dual exhaust sounds good. Excellent sound and look and dual exhaust coming out underneath that rear bumper. Back bumper has all been re -chromed. That looks fantastic as well. Side trim looks good. Just a little bit of a grease, guys, that we missed right here somehow. Got to wipe right off, so there's no, uh, we do have a little tiny chip right here below the uh, tail light, very, very small. Other than that, the white on the quarter panel looks great. I don't see any issues whatsoever there. Lower uh, quarter panel behind the wheel is perfect. Over the wheel is in great shape. No bubbles or blisters anywhere there. Same thing in front of the wheel. It's just 
awesome. Absolutely fantastic. A rocker panel looks really solid. Um, the corner of the door in the front fits absolutely perfect. Um, on the back side of the door, actually the door striker probably could come out just a little bit. The door just sticks in just a little bit here. And I'm guessing the guy can adjust that just a little bit with that striker. So that's an easy adjustment there. But as we go and look at these doors, I mean, check out the, the restoration quality. Usually when you open up the doors, um, door jam uh, restoration, under the hood restoration, just kind of tells you how the whole car was done. Check out those corners of the doors there. Bottom of the door looks great. Another thing I kind of wanted to point out about the restoration on this car. Check out how they did the front frame, inner fenders are all painted high gloss black as well. They did just a really nice job of it. Um, a lot of the stainless and stuff like that's original, but it looks great. All polished up really nicely. Same thing here around the edges of the doors. Sometimes uh, that chrome around the doors gets all rusted and pitted, stuff like that. This one is awesome. Just very, very clean chrome all the way around the windows. You can tell the Restore started with a really good car. Door jam paint here is excellent as well. We laid it on nice and thick in the jams. When they did the interior, they did all new upholstery and a nice soft Naga hide. Um, it's got the correct red seat belts, uh, two in the front. New carpet. The dash was painted uh, beautifully as well. And when they did it, they did all new rubbers up here and felts. As far as the dash paint, the dash applique, just really nice and clean. Um, they chose to go with the Grant GT steering wheel, wood grain. Nice steering wheel, it steers great with that power steering. B&M shifter on the floor. It's got aftermarket gauges. It carries 40 pounds of oil pressure at an idle. Uh, it's running about 192. It's got one mile on the uh, odometer, but when we got it, the speedometer wasn't working, um, and it still isn't. I think it needs uh, uh, either needs a cable or I need to put that end on the trans inside the transmission. So I need to check that out. But when we sell the car, the speedometer will definitely be working. It's got an AM FM cassette and the radio works great. As far as the cassette goes. Um, probably will need an antenna. I'm not sure it has an antenna. It's gonna need one of those uh, um, little antennas probably hidden in the glove box or something. But the uh, cassette will work. It's got speakers and stuff like that. Um, when they did the restoration, they did a great job on the carpet. I mean, they went with the underlayment down here. Just really finished it all off well. It wasn't a cheap restoration by any means. The seats are super comfortable. Padding is excellent in the seats. It has the original chrome on the headliner bows and there is some pitting on the headliner bows. Um, headliner's been replaced. Uh, original uh, rear view mirror, that has a few pits on it as well. As well as our uh, visors have been replaced. Um, back shelf, back door panels, front door panels, back seat, everything is in excellent condition and completely restored. Here you can see just how nice the paint is in that jam there as well.
bubbles or blisters or paint imperfections anywhere around the rear quarter. No rock chips. Guys, this is a fantastic 55. And I don't know why. We've had a lot of 57s over the last, you know, five years. But this might be the only 55 Chevy we've had in the last five years. I just, uh, I know there's a ton of them out there for sale. But we just don't see many in our area that are for sale that we can buy at a a reasonable price and uh, put on the website that we can sell. The driver's side of this car is absolutely awesome. It's just as nice as the passenger side. The red paint's great. Over the headlight eyebrows is fantastic. And really nice gap on the front of the door from top to bottom. Bottom of the fender is perfect. Um, we do have a tiny little paint chip right here along the edge of that fender. No bubbles, no blisters, no issues whatsoever. Um, a tiny little chip right here, guys. And three tiny little chips right along here. Got the nice door handles. This door is the same way. Um, it's in just a little bit along the top here too. I could definitely adjust that out on the striker about like that, so that'd be Again, an easy adjustment. It just needs to have the screws adjusted there on that striker. Um, door jam paint is excellent. Again, it's got seat belts. The corner of the door is perfect. All along here, all new rubbers. The edges are just great, guys. I mean, there's no body filler anywhere. This is all original doors. No body filler anywhere in these doors in the corners that I can see. Door panels are all custom with the uh, grab handles here. Here's your original VIN number. Looks like new wiring too guys. I think pretty much the car, this is all new wiring inside the door here. So the wiring looks good on it. It's got a horn button. The horn works. Um, we talked about it. The radio works. Uh, it does not have wipers or a heater. Uh, if you look at the firewall you can see that. Um, it's a fair weather car. I put uh, little stuff on the windshield and a little rain on the windshield and it'll go a long ways. All our gauges work on it. The speedometer will work guys, but uh, right now is not. It's got a Quicksilver B&M shifter. I don't know if you noticed that the engine is not, uh, you know, at a high idle or anything. We put it down and drive it. The transmission didn't jump, didn't move an inch. I mean, it's, uh, it's this motor and tranny is really set up right guys. I mean, this is an awesome driving car. Again, four wheel disc brakes. Um, power steering works great. Does not need an alignment. I mean, this car is ready to jump in and go. Tons of power, too. I mean, this thing sounds awesome. Tons of power. Steering wheel straight up and down. Alignment's perfect. This little 55 has it all, guys. The comfort, the seats are awesome, new padding, the look, the paint, the body, the chrome's awesome. But uh, best of all, the way it sounds and drives, this is a super fun car. Here's our brakes. I mean, they'll stop you on a dime. No pull left or right. Inside, uh, turn signals work good. Guys, you're gonna look a long time to find a 55 uh, um, this nice. I mean, this is a super clean car. 